We can handle anything! Apart from that room where we almost died, but anything! <laughs> anything they can do, we can do better. We can do anything better than them. Oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. God damn it. I need to take this off so I don't accidentally press it. Really need to not accidentally press that. Wait, how come you... Oh no, you don't have anything because... Yeah, no, that's fine. Um... Do -do -do. Okay, how do I take something off my hotbar? I think the only way I could do it is by replacing it. Also, wait, does this not cost any stamina? Can I just always have my Mabari out with me? Have, should I have been having that out the entire time? Probably. Well. Okay, where is our goal here? Our goal is all the way over there. Which way do we reckon goes there? Let's go this way first. Maybe they both go there. Hello! Oh my god, I did it again! Motherfucker. Let me just put... That there. There we go. Now I can't accidentally turn off my fucking buff. I don't know why I kept pressing it. Yoink. Motherfucker. Haven't we got Elfruit before? Good, good. Okay, so this leads back around to the point we were at, yes? Yes. Did I ever go up this little bit? No. Hokey cokey. Joins up. We're close to the ambush hawk. Be ready. I see it. Ch 
Yoshi. He save. Let's go. Watch your step. Almost stepped in that trap. Almost. Get back. Got you. Well equipped for bandits, but dead is dead and the road is clear. Captain Jevon needs to know of this. Back to the barracks for your just reward. Lovely. I'll take some just desserts while I'm at it too. Done. Ah, nice. I get XP for that. So that should do it. Lovely, jubbly, lovely jubbly. All right, how many more places were there? Uh, this was the one that we're not doing. Oh wait, there is a duty one up here as well. I guess maybe we just do it while we're here then. That went fine, fine, fine. Do do. Do I really need to come that? Do I really need to come that? Do I, <laughs> do I really need for that to come up every time I pick up elf fruit? Do I really need to come that? <laughs> Old Shemlin. Your kind are not welcome among the Dalish. What about the Irish? What do you call me? What's a Shemlin? An elven slur for human. It means you're not one of the people, and you should leave now. What are the Dalish? Who are you people? We are the last of the Elven. Keep that in mind, Hawk. Elves you see elsewhere, figments of your imagination. <laughs> they have given up their identity to live among Shemlin. They're elven no more. I don't want trouble. I was given an amulet for someone named Marathari. How do you know that name? Wait, this is the one the Keeper spoke of. A Shemlin? I thought she'd be an elf. Enter the camp. Keeper Marathari has been waiting for you. Cause trouble, and you'll meet our blades, stranger. Yo. Marathari? I was told to bring you this amulet. And Aranatishan, travelers. Indeed, I am Keeper Marathari. Let me look at you. Short sighted? There's truth in your face. A rare thing in a human. Tell me how this burden fell to you, child. Well, you see, I'm uh, just picking up every quest I find. Were you expecting me? Your guard said you spoke of me. How did you know I was coming? I listened. To the wind, to the birds, as the hunters do. To my dreams. I watched the stars. There is great wisdom to be found all around us 
if you know how to listen for it. But I was not certain. Nothing is certain. Why bring the amulet here? Are you the leader of these Danish? Why did the witch tell me to bring this amulet to you? I am the keeper of this clan. It is my task to guide my people and to ensure the old ways are not forgotten. As for Asha Bellinar, I am tied to her, just as you are, by a debt that must be repaid. What does it do? Exactly what have I been carrying around? Is it magic? It is a promise, child. Made by one whose word still has weight. And therefore, it has terrible power. There are few things in this world stronger than a promise kept. Remember that. I always keep my promises. This amulet's owner rescued my family from the Blight. In return, I agreed to bring it to you. I honor you for coming to me. But I'm afraid your part in this is not done yet. The amulet must be taken to an altar at the top of the mountain and given a Dalish rite for the departed. Then, return the amulet to me. Do this and your debt will be repaid. Are you going to teach me this rite for the departed? I will send my first with you. She will see to it the ritual is done. And when it is complete, I must ask that you take her with New companion you time! You Who are you sending? Who is your first? First of what? Your people would call her my apprentice, or heir. Meryl would have taken my place as keeper. But she has chosen a new path. Please, guide her safely from here. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> As you wish. If that's what you want. It isn't what I want, but it is what she wants. You'll find Meryl waiting for you on the trail just up the mountain. Dareth Shiral. Likewise. The Tale of Iloran. In the days after the, ra the rising of Zazikal, the Dark Ones covered every corner of the land. The Archdemon drove all the nations of the world before him, Shemlin and Elven alike. In the far north, where the hills wander the plains and the earth is eternally baked beneath an uncaring sun, my bad, the lands which the Shemlin call Anderfels, a clan of our people live, struggling to survive the blight. Iloran was their keeper. A hunter in his younger days, crafty as any wolf, he led his people always just ahead of the Darkspawn who chased them. But the old hunter knew that even Hala can not run forever. They must turn and fight, or be run down. At the foot of the Murdane, the Darkspawn cornered Iloran's clan, that night, the moon was strangled by clouds, the earth concealed by a dread mist that rose out of nowhere, so that the elven could not tell up from down. In the confusion, the Darkspawn attacked. With Deloran had prepared for them. All around the camp, the hunters had strewn dry grass, brush, and brambles. When the sound of rustling footfalls began, Eloran and the other Haran called upon the old magic. They struck out with lightning, and though the bolts missed the Darkspawn, they hit their target all the same. The Sea of Kindling lit, and not one of the dark creatures made it through the fire to reach Lauren's clan. Nice. Uh, okay, we know about abominations, we know about these. Uh, it's just Walking Dead. Places, we've read the Bone Pit one, that's fine. Tale of Aloran, the Dalish Elves. Anything new in here that we didn't learn in Origins? Uh, oh, there's a bit of there's a bit about the the Elven gods. So let's actually read this because I obviously <laughs> know that that will become important by Dragon Age Four. So in time, the human empires will crumble. We've seen it happen countless times. Until then, we wait. We keep to the wild borderlands. We raise Hala and build Aravels and present a moving target to the humans around us. We try to keep hold of the old ways to relearn what was forgotten. We call to the ancient gods, although they do not answer and have not heard us since before the fall of Arlathan, so that one day they might remember us. Elganan, the eldest of the sun, and he who overthrew his, fa overthrew his father. Mithal, the protector. Fen Harel, the dread wolf. Andruil, the huntress. Falon Din, the friend of the dead. Dithaman, the keeper of secrets. Gilan Nain, the mother of Hala. June, 
the master of crafts, and Silaes, the hearthkeeper. Silaes or Silaes? Silaes, the hearthkeeper. We gather every ten years for the Arlath Arlathfen to retell the ancient stories and keep them alive. For when the human kingdoms are gone, we must be ready to teach the others what it means to be elves. Wish I could walk up to one of these guys and go, So, tell me everything you know about the Dreadwolf. <laughs> Little birdie tells me that in... Uh, I don't know when this came out. Uh, anything new? We read that, we read that, we read that. Okay. Little birdie tells me that in about a decade, there's going to be a Dragon Age all about one of your gods. Knight Captain Cullen was one of the few Templars who survived the incident at the Circle of Magi. The possessed blood mage Aldred took over the tower, and in his madness, he filled it with summoned demons and abominations. Cullen was imprisoned, tortured, and forced to watch the slaughter of his fellow Templars. That is what we call, in the Mage Guild, good banter. The ordeal shook him, and he emerged from it convinced that even Templars failed to see how dangerous mages can be. He then decided to slaughter innocents. After Cullen returned to his duties, it became clear he would go to any lengths to enforce the Chantry's rule. His zeal troubled Knight Commander Gregor, who feared it unwise to let Cullen watch over the men and women he deemed responsible for his torment. Gregor sent Cullen to serve under Knight Commander Meredith in Kirkwall, and Meredith found Cullen's view of mages similar to her own. Of course she did. Of her company, only Cullen had seen mages' potentially terrifying power firsthand, and she believed he could influence the other Templars' views. Consequently, Cullen rose quickly through the ranks to become Knight Captain and Meredith's second in command. How fantastic. It doesn't mention the fact that on his way out the door, he murdered, was it three mages? A little bit of a thing you should probably have in here. Not not to be glossed over. What a, what a, I feel like that's pretty dumb though of Gregor. He's like, hmm, maybe it's unwise to let Cullen watch over the mages who he deems responsible for his torment. So we're going to send him to Kirkwall, where he will be in charge of mages. Hmm. Perhaps this is not the great idea that it first seemed. Uh, there's something about the Lowtown Foundry. I've got a strange feeling about it. Ability mapping, injuries. This is, I guess the change to injuries is that it just reduces your max health now, whereas before it was... A whole wide variety of fun things. <laughs> um, that is everything. All right. Wait, did I do that? Um, oh, it was just the mercenaries that we met. Okay. Okay. Watch your step, Shan. You don't know how many Dalish arrows are... Valaslin Blood Writing. After my encounter with the Dalish Elves on the road to Navarra, I studied every book on the Elves I could find. I sought out legends and myths and history and tried to make sense of it all, but there is only so much one can learn from books. I knew that in order to truly understand the Dalish, I would have to seek them out. A dreadful idea in hindsight. In my defence, I was young and also inebriated when the idea popped into my head. Unfortunately, even after I'd regained some measure of sobriety, the idea still held appeal. It proved remarkably... It proved remarkably resistant to my attempts to ignore it. I gave in after months of that nagging thought at the back of my head and set out to learn about the Dalish firsthand. I tramped through the forests bordering Olay for weeks before I finally found, or was found by, a Dalish hunter. I stumbled into one of his traps and suddenly was hanging from a tree with a rope about my ankles. So there I was, defenceless, upside down with my robe over my head, my underclothes on display. Descriptions of my predicament might elicit laughter these days, but trust me when I say it was a situation I would not wish on anyone. Thankfully, my ridiculous appearance may have caused my captor to stay his hand. What threat is a silly human with his pants showing? And so he sat, made a small fire and began to skin the deer he had caught. I soon mustered the courage to speak. I tried to assure him that I was not there to harm him, but he laughed at this and replied that if I were there to harm him, I had failed terribly. Eventually, we got to talking, and when I say talking, I mean that I asked him questions, and occasionally he deigned to answer. He told me that while some Dalish actively seek out human travellers to rob or frighten, most of his people would rather be left alone. He seemed to believe that punishing the humans for past actions only led to more violence. I asked him about the intricate tattoos on his face. He told me they were called Valasin, Valaslin, blood writing. They were, his were symbols of Andrew the Huntress, one of the most highly revered elven goddesses. 
He said the Dalish marked themselves to stand out from humans and from those of their kin who have chosen to live under human rule. He said the Valislin remind his people that they must never again surrender their beliefs. When he finished skinning the deer, he cut me down. <laughs> For a moment there, I was like, he fucking cut you up? Like, because when you say, if you have a sword and you cut someone down, it generally means like, you slice them up. <laughs> but he means cut him down from the fucking hanging position he was in. By the time I'd righted myself and conquered the dizziness of all the blood rushing out of my head, he was gone. I do not recommend that my readers seek out the Dalish for themselves. I was very lucky to have met the man that I did and to have walked away from our meeting unscathed. Perhaps the Maker watches over those who seek knowledge with an open heart. I certainly would like to think so. Alright. Uh, does anyone here want to chat? Do you want to chat anymore? Meryl may guide you to Sunderman's field. May your steps be guided by the champion. Make your business here quick. Quest updated. Map of occupied Kirkwall. What did I just pick up? I have no idea. Unless it was a side quest? Ah. Uh. Right. This is one of the ones where it just doesn't tell me what to do with it. I am Master Island, a crafter for this clan. Forced to stay so close to this Shemlin city, I've seen my share of outsiders pass through our camp. Is there something you needed? Tell me about your trade. Are you a specialist? What sort of things do you make? A Dalish crafter does many things. We create weapons, armor, anything our clan has need of. Wait, there's no yes option, it's just no? I don't need anything right now. Of course. Well, sure. Uh, okay, so it's the other path is the way to go. So what's up this way? Check the wrong routes first, always. I've always wondered, why is every surface dwarf a merchant or a smith? You left out criminals and hired muscle. They don't count. We dwarves are drawn to shiny objects, sort of like magpies, but with business sense. You're kidding. Of course I am. We come to the surface with the skills our ancestors had, Blondie. You think there's a tradition of dwarf woodcutters in Orzammar? Beekeepers? Sailors? Well, there could be mushroom growers and nug wranglers. Hm? Orzammar will never let those people go topside. Too vital. Also, embarrassing. <laughs> I like Varric. Varric's cool. Whoa! Okay, that made me jump. Okay, nothing. Oh, I wish I could sprint. Oh, I wish I could sprint. Oh, how nice a sprint would be. I would really like that for me. All right, so time to meet a new companion. What class are you? Because that determines who's getting kicked out of the party. Oh, oh yeah, that's not sus I at all. Hear. You must be the one the Keeper told me about. Anethera. I'm so sorry. I didn't ask your name. Unless... It's not rude to ask a human their name, is it? No. I'm Meryl. Which you probably knew already. I'm rambling, sorry. <laughs> Why leave your clan? Why are you leaving the Dalish for Kirkwall? I have to. 
Let's leave it at that for now, all right? Did you do something wrong? I get the feeling you're in trouble. It's not like that. Not exactly. Anyway, Is it something to do with the fucking the glowing thing you just looked at? But it will sort itself out in time. That sounds like copium. What was that? Did you hear that strange noise? Oh, I didn't hear anything. Hmm. What's the matter? You seem awfully nervous. I've never met a human before. You've Danish never met a human before? How old are you? Stories about you, you know. Not you, personally, of course. I'm sure they don't have any tales about you. They will. Or not scary ones, at least. <laughs> not that you're not notable enough to have a story. I'll just shut up now. <laughs> Who are you? We didn't get a proper introduction. I am... Or was, I suppose. The first to keep a Marathari. I've studied the old ways for as long as I can remember. I know things. The law of the Dalish. That can help law! us get to the summit of Sandermort. Fellow law enjoyer. Nice to meet you. My name is Hawk. Glad to make your acquaintance, Mel. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm not very experienced with your kind. The Keeper said you came from Ferelden. I spent most of my life there. We only came north a few years ago. Have you been in the free marches long? Do you like it here? There's opportunity. I've lived in Kirkwall for a year now. It's a good place to get a fresh start. Really? I hope you're right. We should go. Your task is for Asha Bellinar. It's not wise to make her wait. Tell me about this right. What do we have to do with the amulet? It's a funeral of sorts. I'll perform it when we get to the mountaintop. Getting there is the tricky part. Our hunters haven't been able to reach the summit. Dark things are about. You know my task? I take it you've been expecting me to bring this amulet for some time. The Keeper brought us here to wait for you. I don't know much more than that. I do know that you have Asha Belenar's amulet. And we must bring it to the altar on the mountaintop. Nothing more. Have you met Asha Belenar? She definitely hasn't. Do you know the witch who sent me here? No, not personally. My people tell stories of her, though. You're very lucky. Most people who meet Asha Belenar wind up in little pieces, hanging from the trees. Ready to go. Let's get this over with. Wait, do I have a party of five now? Oh no, it's still a party of four. She's in the party, I just can't do anything with her. Hello! Keeper didn't mention you were a mage. Sorry, Anders. All keepers know a bit of old magic. The stories tell us that all Elven once had the gift. But like so many things, it was lost. It's a keeper's job to remember, to restore what we can. What about demons? Can't demons possess Dalish mages? It can happen. And when it does, the clan must hunt and kill their own keeper. Fun! What about Templars? Does the Chantry know about the Dalish mages? Oh, they know. Keeper Marathari told me that was one of the reasons we never camped too long in one place. They usually won't pursue us if we stay away from the cities and towns and keep moving. You don't know how good you've got it. But my clan is now in more danger, having lost our Hala. Yet you risk the city's danger. If you go to Kirkwall, you'll be an apostate in a city full of Templars. I know, but if I don't go to Kirkwall, I'll be alone. So you're getting kicked out. The solitary elf Like, it's not because of anything you need to do in Kirkwall, in city, it's that you're being cast out proud. fully. Hmm. Thanks for the help. I'm glad you decided to pitch in back there. Oh. Oh, you're welcome. I wasn't sure I'd be much good. I've done a little fighting before, but it, it was always alone. I'll try not to hit anyone. On our side, I mean. I'm babbling again. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I like her. Da, 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 da. I'm babbling again. Let's go. 
Not too shabby. We had a giant rock to push uphill. This would perfectly sum up my life. Okay. So the keeper finally found someone to take you from here. Yes. Then finish your task quickly, human. We cannot be rid of this one too soon. Okay, you've got to tell me. I'm sensing a story here. Yeah. I have made my choice. And I will save our clan, whatever you think. Ooh, save our clan, huh? Uh, is there a problem? What's going on here, Meryl? Nothing. Just ignorance. We should go. That's not an answer, Meryl. I hope we're going the right way. I get turned around a lot up here. Don't worry, it's a pretty linear path. I really don't think we need the big fucking rectangle and the musical cue every time I pick up a fucking plant. Sundermount Passage. I'm sorry. You're not really seeing the Dalish at their best. We're good people that look out for each other. Just not today, apparently. You're right. I don't want to do the nasty option. Like, I want to ask what did you do, but... She's just going to say she doesn't want to talk about it. So, I'll say the nice option. Is there anything I can do to help? It's kind of you to ask. We'll find out eventually. Even if my people don't appreciate my efforts, I must see this through. Let's go. Asha Belenar isn't known for her patience. <laughs> well, she's waited a fucking year whilst I've dicked around in the city not doing my fucking promise. I reckon she can wait a bit longer. New Codex, The Last Descent. Guessing it's not in here. No. Meryl. The stories tell us that all Elven once had the gift, but like so many things it was lost. It's a keeper's job to remember, to restore what we can. As each generation passes, magic becomes more rare among the Dalish. As the gift dies out, talented children are moved between clans so that every keeper has a successor, and no clan is in danger of being left without guidance. Meryl was born to the Alerian clan, which wandered the hills of Navarra. She was the third child of the clan with the ancient gift born to her. When the next Arlathven gathering of the clans occurred, she was given to the Sabre clan to be, the fir to be first to keep a Merothari. Meryl was just four years old. She spent most of her life in Ferelden and the Kulkari Wilds until... Her clan was driven north by the blight. Uh, okay, that's everything there. That's the blood writing one. We read that. Oh, I really wish it would... I can't believe, like... Why did they... They went one step forward by not making the thing disappear. But then two steps back by not letting you go directly to it when you pick it up. And also not making the thing that it's in glow. So you have to check them all. The Last Descent. The Legion of the Dead are comprised of dwarves who are looking to regain their honour. These discredited dwarves must venture into the deep roads to battle an endless tide of Darkspawn. The Legion guarantees redemption for its members, but so too their deaths. 
There are records indicating that one human joined the Legion. So Aurelian Pentecast, the defeated contender for the Navaran throne, retreated into Dwarven lands in 860 Blessed. So Aurelian was a pious man who was ousted after clashing with his people. He believed the Maker demanded that he return his homeland to Chantry rule. With little recourse but to live out his days as a dishonoured exile, he joined the Legion of the Dead and went into the Deep Roads a Dwarven hero. He was never seen again, but pieces of his enchanted armour have turned up on the surface in the ensuing decades. Some say the armour was scavenged off his body, others that he sold the pieces after secretly returning to the surface. The truth, as always, is only known to the Legion, whose motto has always been, as secrets die with us. The Anderfells. The Anderfells are a land of shocking extremes. It is the most desolate place in all the world, for two blights have left great expanses of the steppe so completely devoid of life that corpses cannot even decay there, no insect or grub will ever reach them. It is a land filled with wonders like the Murdane, with its gigantic white statue of Our Lady carved into its face, her hands outstretched and bearing an eternal flame, or Weishaupt Fortress, with its walls of living rock towering over the desolate plains below. The Anders, too, are a people of extremes, the most devout priests and the most deadly soldiers, the poorest nation in the world, and the most feared. The lustrous white-blue silverite has long been prized by the dwarves for use in jewellery, rune-making, and weaponsmithing, but on the surface it's more commonly used by apothecaries and healers. Since the metal does not rust, many traditions believe it to be proof against poison. There is a tale passed down among the people of Anderfels. A knight returned home after many years of war only to be struck by an adder. His wife immediately bound the wound with a medallion of silverite pressed against the bite like a poultice. By morning the poison had left him, and the knight lived to an old age. Sounds handy. Okay, so that's the way to go. So what's up here? Shadow Warrior. Thanks for your silver, I guess. Shadow Warrior with me. Uh, enchanted Staff and Heavy Elven Boots. That's not what I wanted. Wait, hang on. That's different. Oh, did we just pick that up? Maybe. Uh, okay, ring. Don't care. Uh... This. Holy mother! We have 106 armor, plus 2 dex, plus 31 defense, plus 5 crit chance. Okay, so we're gaining a ton. We're ga gaining an additional, like, 26 or 27% armor. We're keeping our crit chance. We are also gaining 2 dex and 31 defense at the expense of 12 crit damage. 12% crit damage. Hmm. I think it's probably worth the swap. I think it's probably worth the swap. And so, we'll swap it. Uh, that is obviously not worth the slot. Uh, okay, so we're looking for anything with 30 armor. That requires 16 strength, so that's not happening. Uh, 
28 armor and crit chance. Yes. Uh, do do twenty five and plus six stamina. What's the difference between these two? I don't know what the difference between argent or crimson is. Is it just looks, or is there an actual difference in like stats? Because they're both four stars, and one's Crimson one, one's Argent, but it's the exact same actual thing. Hmm. I'm not sure. Everyone has their rings already, yeah? Yeah. Cool, okay. Don't know what... What am I supposed to do with these? They're, like, blocked off. But there's, like, a ton of extra stuff down there, so... Are we going to be coming back here later and we'll be able to open it then? A magical barrier. I can open the way forward. One moment. One! Right, that'll be why she's getting cast out then. Blood Mage. That was a summoning. That takes blood magic. Are you crazy? Yes, it was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? Mm. They don't tend to keep helping. Sure, demons are very helpful. Right up until they take your mind and turn you into a monster. Well, yes. But that won't happen. Copium, it won't happen to me, copium. Be Taking big fucking Restless long drags the heights. on the copium. In the days of Arlathon, the elders came here to sleep. Uthanara. The endless dream, they called it. But they don't sleep peacefully anymore. She got friendship from that? I thought me taking the piss would uh, not endear her to me necessarily. But hey, I'll take it. Who wants to fight? What? Three tactic slots acquired for picking up a mushroom? Oh, we leveled. Okay, we got the next level of that, and let's go a constitution point. Uh, and now we can go... Oh, shit. We've got this now as well. Fuck. Oh, right. Yeah, no. It was someone else that had that. Okay. Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to do this next time. I'm going to do that next time. Let's just finish this off. That's going to be a whole lot of menuing, and I'm just not really feeling it right this second, you know? You know? I don't like the looks of this. Done. That should do it. So much XP. What? Whoa, oh shit.
Man, you know what? The first time we met a Revenant in DAO, we got absolutely creamed. So, feeling pretty good that it went well that time. Uh, I'm wondering if it's going to make us come up here. So, actually, let's hit the thing. Another one? Oh wait, no, that's the same one. Six gold, you say? Oh no, not the fucking inventory fall. I think no. God damn it. All right. Uh, junk. Wait, there's no. Oh no, there's no destroy button? Oh wait, no, is it in junk? Can I destroy from junk? Oh, I can, okay. Ring Place of... the amulet on the altar. Okay, maybe we do not go up there then? Uh, Ring of the Magister. Sounds interesting. What do it be? Six mana and stamina and 4% fire damage. Uh... Cool. Okay, so I guess we don't have to go all the way up there, but I want to. We'll do this first, though. Okay, I'm not even going to attempt that one. <laughs> I can read the first word. Emma. Yeah. Emma. Oh, shit. Howdy. How's it going, Ash? Ah, and here we are. That was unexpected. One of the people. I see. So young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. So refreshing to see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. Uh, we made a deal. I keep it. I agreed to deliver the amulet. Though you could have told me you were inside it. It has been Just a year. Piece. A small piece, but it was all I needed. A bit of security, should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, oh, has. Right. So that was her fucking escape plan for if she got killed, which she did. Because it's been a year, so by now, her other body would would have been killed. What do you think, Anders? What are you? A spirit? An abomination? This is no magic I've ever seen. <laughs> and you would know of spirits and abominations. I'm a mage. Of course I know of such things. Of course. I am a fly in the ointment. I am a whisper in the shadows. I am also an old, old woman. More than that, you need not know. Who's Morrigan? 
Is that someone I should know? My wife. She's a girl who thinks she knows what is what better than I or anyone. <laughs> and why not? I raised her to be as she is. I cannot expect her to be less. I'm not sure whether she's your daughter or your enemy. Neither is she. Not gonna lie, the way she looks and like acts in this game feels so much more like I don't know, like regal, I guess would be a good word, than in the original where it was just like a crazy old hag. Whereas in this game she's like she feels really powerful. In the first game she just felt like like obviously you knew she had magic, she had strong magic and stuff, but she didn't feel like it when you were talking to her. You didn't feel like you were talking to some fucking massively powerful witch. But here, in this game, you definitely do. Why not come yourself? Why did you need me to bring you here? Because I had an appointment to keep. And because I did not want to be followed, you smuggled me here quite nicely. Are you real? I don't understand. Are you some kind of vision? <laughs> Must I be in only one place? Bodies are such limiting things. I am but a fragment cast adrift from the whole. A bit of flotsam to cling to in the storm. Interesting. I was wondering. Because she said my other body is probably dead by now. I was like, wait, do you not know? Like, if the other body... If your other body isn't dead, then would it have worked? Because then you'd have two versions of Flemeth just chilling in the world at the same time. But I guess she's saying that that is possible? A fragment. You do not need to understand, child. Know only that you may have saved my life, just as I once saved yours. And even trade, I think. That is really cool. I really, really like that plot point. That our character in the second game is the reason that she survives our character in the first game killing her. <laughs> so what now? You have plans, I take it. Destiny awaits us both, dear girl. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can fly. Uh, must be nice to have wings. Cheap advice from a dragon. We all have our challenges. As for you, child, step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. Master Anas Ashabelina. Now the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks and my sympathy. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Very, very cool. Wait, did we just level up again? We just leveled up and I hadn't put my attribute points in yet. Or my... I forget which one it is. I'd, I'd put in the number points, but I hadn't put in the actual choose a skill point and I think we just leveled again. Okay. Well, that is how we will begin the next session. Uh, is with a whole lot of leveling, I guess. That's a save... Save 60... Six, what does that mean? Save 65? Is it... I guess it must be including auto-saves. Because I was like, there's no way that I've saved... Yeah, no. These are my manual saves. I've only saved like 10 times manually. Okay, cool. Cool. That was awesome. That was very unexpected and very, very awesome. Did enjoy. Hope you did as well. In the next part, we've got a whole lot of leveling to do. That's going to take a while. My apologies. And then we're going to head up that way, see what there is to see. And then, uh, I guess it's back to Kirkwall for a long handing in quests sesh. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. 
and I'll see you next time for more Dragon Age 2. Thanks for watching, see you then.